Good evening, my fellow YouTubers and model railroaders. Welcome to another edition of A and Live on Video of A and C, R and R, and Scale and Life Journey. I just wanted to share with you guys today my Tommy Tech E7 Series E7 HST. Or, yeah, High Speed Train, HST. That's a beautiful sucker right there. Let me tell you what. It is a 12-car set. It is very, 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 very long. <laughs> Holy moly, that's a big train. So, without further ado... I'm gonna plug up my uh, power supply here. Try to save on electricity and turn it off when I'm not using it. So this sucker takes a second to get going. Um, it's got two engines in it. It's a push-pull kind of thing. Right here is one engine. And then back here is the other engine. Um, unfortunately, uh, the front end and the back end do not light up but that's okay i love it it's great so here we go and i gotta start this sucker off slow i can't just like start mashing the speed because it won't go but this sucker is long i have to say i think it's my second longest train that I have. And I don't want to go too far because we'll run off the layout. <laughs> so now we'll try and go back a little faster. It took me a while to get it to go, get going. And once the sucker gets going, it flies. And... Mm. So yeah, that's my Tommy Tech 12 car series E7. And like I said, it's, it's pretty big. Um, I'd have to say it's as long as I am tall, damn near. Um, and just think, my uh, ICE-4 is longer. Same amount of cars, but the cars are, are the actual cars are longer, so it's going to be longer. Um, so yeah, and then I've got a little bit of news about what's been going on with me uh, in dialysis. So. I have to go in tomorrow, Saturday afternoon, because um, they messed up my treatment again for like the fifth or sixth time. Um, they keep forgetting to make sure that the amount of weight that I want to, or fluids to be taken off is in the machine properly. And what happens is, is I end up only taking off two so in order to circumnavigate having to go in and be like seven or eight over my dry kilos over my dry weight come uh monday i'm going in on uh saturday i'll get a two-hour treatment and the max that they can take off is like three or three and a half i hope and that should help a whole lot um because I was 3.2 over my dry weight when I left today. Um, the problem is, is I'm, I, I have to drink. I have to drink something. And I'll drink at least a kilo and a half of water um, between today and tomorrow getting in there. So, yeah. Um, just, uh. It, it stinks, but I got to do it, you know, having all that fluid on my heart and 
and on my lungs and my diaphragm is not good for my health. Um, also, uh, shout out to uh, Johnny from BNS Systems. Uh, he uh, texted me the other day and informed me that he's healing up and he's taking it easy. Uh, but he's, I think he said he's got another three to four weeks uh, before he can get back up on his feet and whatnot. But he's all right. Um, things are going, are going good for him, uh, health wise, well, better. So just, uh, keep him in your prayers. If you believe in God and even if you don't just keep him in your prayers, you know, every, every little bit helps. And, uh, that's it guys, uh, for this update. I'm going to be running, running this beautiful E7 from Tommy Tech for a while. I'm trying to get it broken and running better so that when I finally can get to where I can <sighs> get that lift out bridge put in and work on it and get it to it works better. I mean, it's decent. It needs a little 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 bit of detail here and there to so I can run trains across it. But uh yeah. Um so with that said, thanks for stopping by, everybody, and please be blessed and have a lovely weekend. Bye.